Well, welcome back, everyone. This Friday, the South Carolina Arts Foundation at the Columbia Museum of Art. They are so proud to present their Arts Renaissance Gala. It's going to be a special year, a special event, because this is the first time they're bringing it back to the Midlands since the pandemic. They're bringing together artists, art professionals, and patrons from around the state. The gala will be a wonderful opportunity to join and celebrate the resilience and growth of the vibrant arts community right here in South Carolina. Joining us today with more is the South Carolina Arts Foundation President, Shani Bland, and the co-chair, Christy Davis. Thank you so much for being here, ladies. Thank Hi, you. Thank you. The art is so important. Uh, we have so many talented people here in South Carolina, but I mean, you guys have a whole foundation about it. So tell me more about your organization and why this is something that you felt like needed specific attention. Absolutely, thank you. So the South Carolina Arts Foundation is a 51-year-old mm -hmm. nonprofit organization, and we're dedicated to supporting the arts and artists of South Carolina. Yeah. And it's just important because the arts add so much mm -hmm. value to our everyday life. Like, what would life be without art? Yeah. And when we talk about art, we're not just saying visual arts, right? Mm -hmm. Arts are come in many different forms, dance, theater, spoken word, music. So we celebrate all of those forms of art. Yeah. And um, we are, like I said, a, a nonprofit organization, so we raise funds uh, to support programs that benefit artists and arts across the state, um, really specifically in the area of arts learning. So you think about arts programs mm -hmm. in our schools, yeah. um, art artist development, so that our next generation, our future artists, or even our current artists can feel like they can actually have a career in the art you know we talk a lot about stem and other careers of the future artificial intelligence but what about art yeah. you know we need musicians we need visual artists we need dancers for the future so um, our organization helps raise funds through um, programs like we're going to discuss today mm -hmm. to give individuals in South Carolina but also businesses an opportunity to support and invest in furthering the arts in our state thank you for that explanation that is such a, a great uh, way that you put it especially about why people need to support the arts because sometimes you know there people have different perspectives like you want to be an artist or whatever however mm -hmm. that may look like like downing the profession, but it's actually something that you said is a necessity. To your point, when you think about the programs, Christy, um, this is one of them, the event that's coming up right. this Friday that you can support to support other artists to help keep that alive in the state. Tell us more about the program. We already mentioned it's the first time since yes. COVID that it's coming back. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have our very own local Reggie Sullivan and oh. the Congaree Saints yeah. uh, performing. And we're having um, a guest star to perform with them as well. And his name is Charlton Singleton, and he mm -hmm. is from Charleston. He's won our Governor's Award, which is our prestigious award mm -hmm. in the um, state of South Carolina, as well as two <coughs> Grammys. So that is pretty cool yes, to have is. a Grammy artist at our gala. And then we're also actually having a few other artists perform throughout the gala. So we're going to have a mime artist a caricature um, artist, and we're gonna have a spoken word artist um, perform as well. So we're trying to showcase what the South Carolina Arts Foundation does and, and to whom they benefit. Yeah. Um, and so we can, our patrons can see where their money is going towards. So. That's really good, yeah. and you said gala, so this is a nice time for you to Put on your best. Your yes. Well, I don't want to say your Sunday's best, but, you know, your, your <laughs> gowns yes. and, and your ties and your tucks. That would be good as well. Uh, there's going to be some great food there. Yes. <laughs> we, um, our committee did a great job. Mm -hmm. and um, Elevated Southern food. Yes. And we're going to have an open bar. <laughs> nice. Everybody okay. loves an open bar. Yeah. And um, complimentary valet. Um, and we have lots of great sponsors like Optus Bank and the Stanley Law Firm that really um, helped with that, uh, getting those... Um, good tasty bites and, and drinks. That's so. good. I like that. And you said in addition to the entertainment, there's going to be visual art as well. So you'll be able to walk through the venue and see some of the uh, talented artists right here in South Carolina. Uh, speaking of uh, the art here in South Carolina, a lot of people sometimes think for you to make it or uh, to get a name for yourself in this industry, in the arts industry, you may have to move to a bigger city. Mm -hmm. But we have so much talent right here in our state. What is your take on that? That is absolutely true. And that's one of the things that we want to showcase, right? Mm -hmm. So um, not only are we asking um, 
members of society to come out and support, and as she mentioned, some of our great sponsors that have helped us be able to put on this event. But it's also um, an opportunity for some of the local artists throughout the state to come and have their art seen. Um, yeah. And to that point, not only, you're right, we're in the Columbia Museum of Art, so there's lots of art there. Yeah. Um, and where, where our venue is, you're gonna walk right past um, some of the great galleries mm -hmm. that showcase some of that wonderful art here from South Carolina. But in addition to that, we are a fundraising organization. So not only are we raising funds through the ticket sales, but we're also going to have a wonderful auction. And that auction will feature art from some of the local artists here in South Carolina, as well as some other great items that different organizations have donated. And I guess just to share a few, uh, the Columbia Fireflies, for example, have okay. donated uh, their luxury suite. Ooh. So for up to 20 guests. Oh, wow. um, we also have a couple of signed basketballs yes. mm -hmm. from USC, Mrs. from the men's and the women's yeah. team. So yep. these are great items that our attendees will be able to bid on and those funds will go directly to supporting the programs. And for those who want to support but they can't make it out to the gala, Christy, what is another way that those they can just donate? They can go to our website to mm -hmm. donate. That is the best place. Um, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram, but the best direct way to get to give money is through our website. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. I know the gala is going to be beautiful. Send us pictures so we can share it with our Absolutely. viewers once you have it. Thank Again, you, the yes. Arts Renaissance happening this year for the first time since COVID, Friday, April 26th at the Columbia Museum of Arts Complimentary Valet. So you don't have an excuse to go. Put your heels on, girls. <laughs> it's kicking off at 7 p.m. and all the fun will last until 11 p.m. Uh, there are a lot of entertainment, including a Grammy award-winning artist who's right here from the low country of South Carolina. We're going to take a quick break. Much more fun after this.